Let me bring some attention to this. How many, how, how many of you have ever seen this many pastors come together like this? this? This is an awesome thing in itself to see this many pastors coming together on one accord. And trust me when I say this, it's just begun. At this time, I want to bring up a gentleman who is the uh, president of the Flint Firefighters Local 352. Trent Farnsworth. Let's, let's give him a hand as he comes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank everyone for coming here today, especially all the dignitaries who may have had better things to do, but I don't know what they would have been today. Because yes, today we're here for a common cause. Right. And today is to voice our opposition to Public Act 4, to its inherent derelict activities that are being done behind closed doors, whether they're in violation of the Open Meetings Act or whether they're in violation of the state constitution that is up for others to decide, but we know what the facts are. The facts are is that there has been negotiations going on behind the scenes. My local unit has done their job and taken concession packages for my citizens that I protect here in the, citizens in the city of Flint. We took a concession package, but there's been a non-movement on the city's administration side to secure the safety for the citizens. For them to say that we'll be left with three stations in the city of Flint with 54 firefighters is inexcusable. Inexcusable. We cannot operate like that for you people. We've done what we've had to do on my side. I felt compelled because there was an illegal extortion action against us saying, take 20 or we'll give you 30. And the other local units can tell you the same thing. I'm not afraid to talk about it. Supposedly, Mike Brown and his staff are in no peril to legal action. Well, guess what? Neither are you people. We can voice our opinions. We have that right through the state and the federal constitution. Public Act 4 is wrong. It was never right on, under any premise. So let's not be disenfranchised yet, voters. We need to get to the polls in November. We need to show those who that need to know and inform them of the right to vote that we need to fill it this November. And in the meantime, we have to hope that the people, that the voices of reason can bring back Public Act Force petition, have another judgment on it at the State Court of Appeals, and make sure that we follow through once we do. The time is now. There will not be another time to ever voice our opinion than right now. We cannot let it happen this year. Right. Governor Snyder has a well-orchestrated, well-oiled machine that he put into place. We got to throw the wrench in it this year. Yeah. Throw the wrench in the machine this year. I'm also a firm believer that Mike Brown cares about the community, but not under the premise that he's been given. It's not right. There are forces, there are forces that influence his decisions, whether it's at the Mount Foundation, from the business leaders of this community, they are all in bed together. And as it deals with public safety, we will not be able to put the fires out. We will not be able to respond to the heart attack calls, to the stabbings and shootings, which have no decrease in their trends right now. So just let me leave you this last thought. I care about the citizens of the city of Flint. I always have. I wouldn't have taken this job in my 21st year to let it fall on deaf ears. God bless everybody who came here today. Let's fight the good fight, and we'll see everybody at the polls in November. Thank Trent for those words. At this time, we want to bring up uh, Attorney Glenn Cotton dealing with the legal matters pertaining Public Act 4 and also with uh, Pastor Flynn. Well, change it up just a little bit. Sam, Sam Muma, who is the president of the city employees of Flint. Let's give him a hand. I'm going to make it short and sweet. I, uh, we're in for a fight. Uh, the city of Flint and throughout the state of Michigan is to take your rights away. Public Act 4 does that. I appreciate everybody being here today. I'm glad to see the concerned pastors and our lady here that did a lot of things with us and others. Uh, and I hope this brings the city of Flint, it's unfortunate that it's something like this to bring us all together, but we this is to disenfranchise people from voting. 
and we need not to let that happen. That's what they're trying to do in this state and others, huh? is to make this a political issue. It's about right and wrong. Public Act 4 is wrong. Yeah. So we need every help we can get. We need everybody, black, white, green, yellow, male, female, police, fire, city employees, garbage workers, churches, business leaders, council, and others on the same page doing the same thing. I appreciate everybody being here. The work is still going to be hard, but we're up to it. And I thank everybody for coming, and thank you for letting me have a moment to speak. I appreciate that. Have a good afternoon.